good morning students in the previous classes we have seen already the subsidiary book 1 under which we have seen different types of uh, subsidiary books of which the different types are purchases book purchases written book sales book sales written book these four subsidiary books are called day books then after the bills receivable book bills payable book cash book then finally journal proper these are all the subsidiary books we have seen so far and under which we have seen the problems of our the day books that means purchases book purchases written book sales book sales written book for all these four day books we have seen the problem and we have worked out that now we are going to see the subsidiary book 2 under which we are going to see the cash book under cash book what are the different types available number 1 single column single column cash book number 2 two, two column cash book or double column cash book number 3 three column cash book or triple column cash book number 4 pretty cash book pretty cash book these are all the four types of cash books what we are going to see first we shall see single column cash book before going to the actual format see what are the transactions eligible for appearing in this cash book only the cash transactions only the cash transactions and the transactions relevant to the business that is done by the businessman businessman enna pandraro and the business sambandhamana irukum cash transaction ah irukum if the this is cash book no credit transaction will appear here no other transaction than the business that is done by the owner of the business in the rendu condition ay now vachite we shall proceed to the single column cash book and for this we shall take first the illustration one for illustration 1 what we should write in the book of as usual for all this is compulsory in the book of kunal the book of kunal single column cash book that is cash book within bracket we can write single column single column and for that what we have to do one of the columns this is this format is like this format is like ledger and therefore you must use you must use both the sides as ledger both the sides because here also we are using the debit side and the credit side for journal we used only one page for ledger we used both the pages for day books we use only single single page listen carefully for journal single page is enough and we can continue with the next page for subsidiary books that is purchase book purchase written book sales book sales written book also we used only single page but for ledger we used both the sides date particulars journal for year amount rupees the same four columns that date particulars Yellow folio amount of this. 
okay this is what we followed in ledger the same thing here also we are going to use both the sides we are going to use both the sides so you bear it in mind the illustration one what are the different columns so far this is a single column cash flow dates receipts then ledger folio amount the same four column up to this this is called data like how we wrote for ledger the same for the credit side also date particulars ledger folio This side is credit side. That credit off. So we can write receipts, and that side payments we can write. Instead of writing the general word particulars here, days. In the particulars column, receipts. This is ledger folio. This is amount rupees. The same thing on the credit side also. Day. This side receipt. Therefore, opposite side payments. Then ledger folio amount rupees. Okay. Then what is given there? cash in hand cash at bank all these things we can write the balance of brought down only we should write on the receipt side what is the first date 2017 january first as we are writing in the ledger debit side we write all the items with to credit side all the items with buy Debit side ledger, all the items to put it on. Credit side ledger, all the items to put it on. Buy put it on. We should remember that. 2017 January. January first, that the cash balance, bank balance, or cash in hand, etc. It is given like that. To balance brought down. To balance brought down, the amount is eleven thousand two hundred. All the receipts we should write here. All the payments we should write there. Okay, then the next item received from Ramesh. On what day it is fifth? Received from Ramesh to Ramesh account. So it is received to Ramesh account. How much it is? Three hundred rupees. Then the third item, paid rent. It is a payment on what day? Seven. That will be seven by rent account. How much it is? Thirty rupees. Then sold goods for cash. When goods are sold, it is sales account. When goods are purchased for cash, it is purchases account. So goods are sold on yes to sales account. Like general only here we are using the term to sales account. Goods are sold for cash for three hundred rupees. Right after age, then tenth paid Mohan. Paid Mohan means paid to Mohan. So tenth by Mohan account. Mohan account seven hundred. Seven hundred. Then purchase the furniture for cash. All the cash from 
constructions must be here. Purchased furniture. When furniture is purchased, we will pay the cash or receive the cash. We will pay the cash only. Therefore, purchased furniture for cash. 27 by furniture account. By furniture account. 200. Then paid salaries. If the question itself it is, is paid, therefore payment. So on 31st by salaries account. By salaries account. 100. As usual, how we are closing the ledger, we should close it. Here you can find the rough total of both the receipts and the payment side 11,500, 11,800. Here 1030. This is the total of payment side 1030 rupees. Therefore, the greater total is. 11,800, you write the greater total on both sides. The same how we did the for ledger, 7,800. What is the missing amount? 31st, here only the amount is missing, that is balancing amount, amount is here. So, by balance carry down, Balance carry down is missing amount seven ten thousand seven hundred and seventy. This is ten thousand seven hundred and seventy. This is carry down the last date of the month. Then opposite side of the carry down is brought down. How we did for let there the same thing to balance brought down 10,770. The date is next month, the first date, February. First. This is balance brought down. So, the single column cash flow. I should remind you something regarding the single column cash flow. And out of these four types of cash book, we are going or we are saying this single column cash book. And for that, we should know the format. It is like a ledger. Since it is in the form of a ledger, no more ledger is required for cash account. Because this is cash book and it is in the form of a ledger. So, we need not prepare any ledger. But for subsidiary books, purchases book, purchase return book, sales book, sales return book, if asked for ledger, we can prepare. But in these cash books, though they are all subsidiary books, for this cash book, we need not prepare any ledger account for cash account. Okay. So, this is the format. We should use both the sides of the notebook, I said. Both the sides we should use and this debit side four columns this side and the credit side four columns this side. And you should write the name in the books of Kunal, center panel, then next one, cash book this side, this side in the bracket will call. Okay, after writing it, you can use the format date, receipts, ledger folio, amount of this. This is for the debit side. For the credit side, date, payments, ledger folio, and the amount, this is for credit side. And whenever the balance of cash in hand and the cash at bank is given, we should write to two balance brought down on the receipt side. That is on the very first day of the accounts. This is 2017, January 1st. Afterwards, what all received, we should write on the receipt side. 
received from Ramesh when Bhushan sold, he received the cash because it is cash sales. This is paid for rent, the payment, paid to Mohan, payment, purchased goods, I mean purchased furniture for cash, therefore it is cash transaction, it is payment, then paid salary, it is payment. So these are all four payment items we have written. Now we have found out the total on both the sides. Receipt side 11,800, payment side 1,030. The greater total we are writing in the total box. Then we are finding the missing term or balancing term and 10,770. If you minus it, you will find 10,770. Against it, you write the balance carried down with the last date of the month. And the opposite side of carry down, you can write balance brought down. That is probably first next month, first date. That's all. You can see now <coughs> illustration two. Illustration two. The problem is enter the following transactions in a single column cash book of Prati. Prati. Cash book single column. Right. We shall start doing that. It is 2017 April. Before that, we keep ready the columns. See, the first sentence, 2017 April, first. So, we will write the date later. The first, we must be very careful. When it is cash in hand or cash balance, you can write to balance brought down. But here comments to business with the cash, what we should write when some amount is invested into the business in terms of cash or in some other form, it is called the capital. So we should write to capital account, here it is Pradeep, like what we are doing in journal, Pradeep's capital account. Generally, if you write the capital account, nothing wrong. But since this is Pradeep's book, you can write the Pradeep's capital account. Even if you miss the name capital account, it is in the books of Pradeep, therefore it is Pradeep's capital, it is understood. Okay? Right. Then, commence the business with the cash, started business with the cash. If it is like that, then you should write the capital account. Or else, cash balance, cash in hand. The first day, Tandamari Kutundana to balance the product. This is the starting point you will do the mistake. I once again repeat it. Cash in hand, the cash balance of Dinu Kutundana, you can write to balance the product. Or else, if the first transaction is given like this, how oh, started business, commenced business in the Madri Kutundana, you should use the term capital account. Be very careful. If you change it, that will be wrong. Even if you write it on the debit side, it will be wrong. No mark will be given for the entry. Okay? Right. Comments to business with the cash, 27,000. Then, bought goods for cash, one fifth. Bought goods, as I said, what all you write on the debit side with the two. What all you write on the credit side, you should write with buy. Buy. What it is? Bought goods for cash. Buy purchases account. What is the amount of purchase? 6,000. 
then then the goods are sold for cash because when goods are purchased we will pay the cash when goods are sold we will receive the cash when goods are sold for cash cash can be like what we will receive the cash that's on the receipt side the day to end to sales account to sales account 11000 11000 Then after ten, thirteen, paid into bank. When amount is deposited into the bank, when the amount is paid into the bank, whether the cash will go out of us or it will come to us. Bank will have money for the board. Pay into bank na money for the board board. Now we take the cash and pay the board ma. Now we take cash and pay the board. That is the question only question. Not to the bank, whether it is going inside the bank or coming out of the bank. No, 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 not like that. From Pradeep, Pradeep is paid into bank. He has paid the money into bank. How much the matter? Therefore, the cash goes out. So, what entry here on thirteen by bank account? by bank account the 5000 then putting goods sold to sagida for cash when goods are sold it is putting to sales account how much Nine thousand. You will get some confusion here. Goods sold to Sangeeta for cash it is given. So when the name appears, you should not write Sangeeta. It is cash sales only for credit sales. We can use the name for cash sales. No name. We should use the common term sales. Common term. Sales only we should write here. Then seventeen goods purchased from Preeti on credit. Here only cash transactions will appear. In subsidiary books, day books, purchases book, purchase return book, sales book, sales return book, only credit transactions will appear. But in this cash book, only cash transactions will appear. In those day books, no cash transactions. In these cash books, no credit transactions. The credit for the brother, cash for the mom. Therefore, seventeenth transaction is not appearing here. Purchase stationary by cash. Whenever the business purchases something, the cash is paid twenty-first by stationary account. By stationary account, two hundred. Then next one. Paid Murugan by cash. That is paid to Murugan by cash. The date is paid Murugan means paid to Murugan. Paid Gunana paid to Gunana. Okay. Then twenty fifth by. Murugan account. By Murugan account, fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand, twenty-fifth. Then twenty-sixth. Commission paid by cash. All the paid are payments. Commission paid by cash seven hundred. Then thirty six by commission account. By commission account seven hundred. Then. 
room from bank for office use for the purpose of office use amount is drawn from bank so in that case the cash comes in or the cash goes out bank the bottom board for the payment very the board when cash is drawn from bank office is ka pana ekum bodu the cash comes in therefore drew from bank for office use 29 to bank account to bank account how much it is drawn from bank 4000 the next one is very important rent paid by check when rent is paid by check the rent is given by the bank not the business is given this is here direct in mind in general there is no such a difference if cash is given rent account debit or to cash account cash goes out if check is given for rent rent account debit or to bank account but here no such call no such idea in general call of cash book therefore we cannot pass any entry here for rent paid by check so we have passed all the entries in it find the total Fifty-one thousand on the receipt side, on the payment side, twenty-five thousand nine hundred. So the total total is fifty-one thousand. You write on both sides as ledger. Ledger must be the. Fifty-one thousand, and the balancing figure ten minus five five four minus two two twenty-five thousand one hundred. Where it is missing on the payment side, it is missing. You write twenty-five thousand one hundred against it. You write by balance. Carry down. Here it is carry down, and the opposite side to balance brought down. Twenty-five thousand one hundred. Now, for the carry down, as we did in ledgers, the last date of the month, April thirtieth. And for brought down the next month first day May first. This is what we should do May first. So what is the speciality in this problem which was not appearing in the illustration number one? What is the speciality here? In illustration number one, there was a term. What it is the cash in hand? If it is cash balance, then we can write here to balance brought down. Instead of that, if the business commenced, if the business started, given like that, then what we must do? We should write that the capital account to capital account. The name, if it is given in the problem, we can add. Even if it is not added, if you write simply capital account. No problem. That is also correct. Okay, and therefore the first entry you should be very careful. And regarding the other one, all the cash receipts will be beside. All the cash payments will be that. What all you receive, that is cash sales, you will receive. Again, it is cash sales you will receive. And this is the amount drawn from bank for office use. Bank will be paying the rent, so the cash comes in. Therefore, to bank account. Here, the goods purchased after paying the cash. Therefore, it is cash purchase. Therefore, by purchase account payment. Then, 
இட் இஸ் த அமௌண்ட் பெய்ட் இன் டு பேங்க் பேங்க்ல பணம் போடுறது அப்படின்றாங்க so cash goes out bank la pana kodu cash goes out from us that is from pradeep so by bank account then stationery is bought when stationery is bought for cash it is cash goes out that for this is here then paid to murugan it is a payment to murugan that for by murugan account commission paid then it is also a payment that for on the credit side After doing it, we have found out the total, debit side total, credit side total, then greater total we have written out of these two. The missing amount that is balancing amount is twenty-five thousand one hundred. This side is the missing balancing amount. You write that against it by balance carry down. Opposite side to balance brought down. For carry down, last date of the month, and for brought down next month to last date. Okay, right. Exercise problem one is the assignment. Problem one is the assignment. Do the problem one and send it to me. Now we shall see problem two. This problem two. Enter the following transactions in single column cash book of Pondicherry in the books of Pondicherry cash book single column. This is two thousand seventeen June two thousand seventeen. June second started business with cash. When business is started with cash, it is otherwise called the capital. That is to since the name is given to on this for its capital account. The amount is fifty thousand. Right. Then paid rent in cash. That is on A by rent account. All the payments must be here by rent account. That is four thousand. Then ten. Purchase the printer for cash. Ten by printer account for office equipment account. Anything you can write by printer account seven thousand five hundred. This there is a doubt. We shall check again later. Purchase the printer for cash. Then cash purchases. This is also purchase. Therefore, this is purchase of goods. Therefore, by purchase account. Cash purchases fifteen thousand. Then next item on fourteenth cash sales. To say so when goods are sold, the cash is received. When goods are purchased, the cash is paid. Goods are written below. I am going to pay the money. Hello. Purchase from the bank. Go to pay the money. Hello. That you must be very careful. Cash purchases fifteen thousand. 
cash sales 10,000. Then commission received in cash. This is also received to commission account. To commission account, commission received in cash. 6,000. Then 19, interest paid for loan. Interest paid for loan. That is 19, it is paid, therefore, on payment side by interest on loan account. Interest on loan account. It is paid two thousand. Then cash withdrawn for personal use. Cash withdrawn for personal use. The cash is withdrawn. Therefore, the amount is going out of the business. Business lien to personal use. So in that case, it is for personal use from the business it goes out. Cash withdrawn for personal use. Date 20th. Why it is personal use, therefore drawings account. If the amount is drawn for personal use, it should be named as a drawings account. Cash withdrawn for personal use. 3000. Paid speed post charges in cash, that is 25, 21st. This is also by speed post charges. Speed post charges account, 3,500. So all the payments are on the payment side. All the receipts are on the receipt side. Only thing here, started business with the cash, therefore it is capital. Now we shall try to close. This side, 60, 66,000. Here you can find thirty-five thousand. So the greater total is sixty-six thousand. So you write on both sides the greater total sixty-six thousand. And the missing term of the balancing figure will be 31,000. You can write 31,000 on this is June, therefore 30th is the last date by balance carried down. This side carried down. Therefore, the opposite side balance brought down. Balance brought down the same carried down amount. That is how we did for ledger. This is June 30th. This one brought down is next month, first day, July 1st. Problem 3 we shall see now. In the books of Ramalingam, the name given in the problem number 3, Ramalinga. Single column cash flow, 
here the date is 2017 July first cash in hand therefore to balance brought down if it is business started with or commenced then we will write the capital account but here it is cash in hand 32000 therefore balance brought down 32000 right then next we receive from kirtana that is when we receive cash it will come in therefore fifth to kirtana account to kirtana account the amount is 5000 Pay the packing charges in cash. The date is 2017 July 6. Packing charges paid in this payment, therefore, by packing charges account. Three hundred. Then seven cash purchases. When goods are purchased for cash, it is a payment. Therefore, by purchases account, seven cash purchases twelve thousand four hundred. Twelve thousand four hundred. Eight. Sold goods for cash. When goods are sold for cash, cash comes in. Therefore, to sales account, cash two thousand six hundred. Then, paid salary to manager in cash. Paid salary. Therefore, salary. Is a payment paid therefore by salary account in cash seven thousand. Then paid to Bala three thousand. So to Bala it is paid by this payment therefore by Bala account. Three thousand. Then purchase the goods from boss. You should be very careful. In purchases, we have seen three, four types of transactions. Purchase the goods, cash transaction. Purchase the goods for cash, cash transaction. Purchased goods from both credit transaction. Only name is given. You must be very careful. Purchased goods from both for cash. It is cash transaction. So from this, what you have understood? If there is any sales or purchase, if the transaction is given only with the name, only with the name, it is credit transaction. So this credit transaction will not appear in the cash book. Must be very careful. Purchased goods from both means purchased goods from both on credit. Okay, so you get it. Cash deposited into bank through CDM. What are the mode of deposit? Ah, the every one of deposit money in my bank will be like deposit machine. Or whatever it is, the cash goes out. It is a payment. Therefore, twenty fourth by bank account. By bank account, four thousand. Withdraw cash from bank when the amount is taken, drawn from the bank. The cash comes in. Therefore, on twenty-seven to withdraw cash from bank to 
bank account cash comes in therefore to bank account the amount is 2000 then 31st paid off his rent in cash 31st paid off his rent by office rent account paid therefore it is payments in cash 6000 right we have passed the entries for all we shall try to close it now debit side total 41600 credit side total 32700 okay now 0 0 16 minus 7 9 0 10 2 8 3 3 this is the balancing figure out of these two total which is the greater total 41600 You write on both sides. Here, how much is missing? Eight thousand nine hundred is missing. That is the balancing figure. Against it, by balance carry down the opposite side to balance brought down. So eight thousand nine hundred. So carry down the last date of the month, thirty first, and brought down after July August next month first date. So we have completed with this the single column cash flow and two pro. Two examples and three problems for the exercise. We have I have done four, and you do only one as assignment. Easy problem only I have given as assignment. In this you should remember the format, and you should pass only the cash transactions. Whatever the type of cash transaction in it, you should write. Receipt that side and the payment to this side. What all the cash received you write on the receipt side. What all the different types of payments you write this payment side. And the first entry only you must be very careful. And when there is a cash balance or cash in hand you should write to the balance brought down. If the term is given like this, started business with the cash. Commence the business with the cash. You should write here. The capital account to two capital account, and you can add the name given in the problem with the wrongly means wrongly given capital account. And remember, this is in the model of a ledger, and therefore for cash account, you need not prepare another ledger. The cash book itself is a ledger for cash account. Okay, we shall continue tomorrow.